In this presentation, we will continue on with our comprehensive problem recording the transaction on January 22nd of Perform Work for Cash. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. So in this case, we're performing work and receiving cash at the same point in time. Remember, anytime we look at these problems, we're really just asking the question, if we're getting money from the customer, the question is, you know, did we do the work in the past? Did we do the work now? Are we doing the work in the future? In this case, we performed work for cash. We did it now. And this is the case for many types of, of industry. So if we, if, we're, if we sell food, for example, we probably get paid at the same point in time we deliver the food if we're in a restaurant. If, on the other hand, we ship food or something like that, then the payment is going to be some time before or after. So this is a common, it's common to get receive payment at the same time. That's what's happening here. First question, is cash affected? We're going to say, yeah, we received cash. So cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it. Another debit. So I'm going to right-click and copy cash in L5. Put that here in H11 by right-clicking and pasting just the values one two three then we're going to go here and uh put the amount which i believe was fifteen thousand not bad fifteen thousand cash sale and then we're going to have the credit which is going to be negative of that number and enter so i we could put a negative fifteen thousand i like the little formula and recommend a little formula and any formula whenever possible as little of a formula as possible the most efficient formula possible then we're going to say, what is that credit going to go to? And in this case, we earned the revenue at this point in time. Remember, anytime we get cash from a customer, which is usually how we get cash, it's because we're earning it in some way. The only question is, when did we earn it? Did we earn it in the past? Are we earning it now today? Are we going to earn it sometime in the future? That's when revenue is going to be recognized, when we earned it. In this case, we earned it at the same point in time we got paid. Therefore, we're going to record cash and revenue. So revenue has a credit balance. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it. Another credit. So we'll copy that revenue, right-clicking it and copying it. We'll put it here in H12 by right-clicking and pasting it. One, two, three. Values only. Then we're going to go to the Home tab. Alignment group. This is probably already done for you, but this is where it's at. And increase the indenting. So note this is like our favorite journal entry. And it's really useful to look at because it shows us a couple of things. It shows us one, cash is going up with a debit, which means debits are kind of good on the balance sheet for, uh, for the assets and liabilities. But revenue is also going up with a credit. So notice that there's no like good side, bad side, like light side, dark side, or something like that to this journal entry. It's all good. This whole thing is good. The debit's good. The credit's good. The revenue's good. The, the, the cash is good. So, um, it's, so it helps us to see that there's not like a debits are good, credits are bad, or vice versa type of thing going on. It's just how the pieces are played on the, on the board. And it just so happens the way the thing is set up that if we look at the first two balance sheet accounts, debits tend to be good, credits tend to be bad. If we look at the equity side, which represents what's owed to the owner, we tend to like the credits and not the de and the debits are typically not good because those are expenses okay so let's post this out then we could post this we have journalized the journal entry the process of journalizing or making or recording the journal entry into the general journal we're not going to record it or post it to the general ledger you could do that a few different ways one by scrolling which works fine uh, or you can make the screen really small which works fine not very good for presentations or my eyes so, and the other way is to use these frozen panes, which we're practicing doing here. So we're going to use frozen panes, in other words. So we're going to scroll up to the top. We're going to go to the right just a bit. Put our cursor in K1. Go to the View tab up top. Frozen panes and freeze those panes so that when we scroll right, columns J through G through J remain. So here's the... Uh, cash first here's the first account on the trial balance cash first account on the gl as well so we're going to scroll down we're going to be in the uh, cell o17 o17 where we will say equals point to that 15,000 bringing that 30,000 up by 15 to 
45,000. That 45,000 then, also being on the trial balance, which we can see by clicking to the left of the frozen panes, using the arrows and going right. And there it is, there's the 45,000. We are out of balance by the 15,000 until we record the other side, this 15,000. So we will do that now. Here's the 15,000 we're gonna record in revenue. If we scroll down, here it is in the revenue account. We're gonna to go to the right. So it's gonna be our first you know, dark blue or income statement account. So we'll go to the right till we find it. Here's cash and here's all of our assets in green, liabilities in orange, equity, and then we're looking for revenue or income. So here's revenue or income. Notice it only has credits. Revenue or income only goes up in one direction. Customers pay us, we don't pay customers. So we only credit income or revenue. We are in cell AF28, where we will say equals, scroll up just a bit, point to that 15,000, and enter. So we've got the 12,000 going up by 15,000 to the 27,000, that 27,000 then being used to create the trial balance, which we can find by clicking just to the left of the frozen panes and using the arrow keys to go right one time, popping us back over to where we want to be. There's the 27,000 in um, net income. So what has happened here? This is our favorite transaction where cash went up. We like that. And the other side going up is revenue went up. We like that. Nothing bad here. Nothing bad here. Everything's good. Net income then, of course, is going up by that 27000 If we consider the accounting equation, we can see that the assets, debits, minus the liabilities means that we have a book value kind of of the company or value of the company, 127000 Who is owed those uh, 127000 Which owner is or the owners are? Or we could see it this way. Here's the assets. 141 these are the people that are owed those assets which also adds up to 141 who has claim to these assets of 141 third party liabilities are owed 14 and then the owners are owed all the rest we have three owners one is is owed 40 50 and 10 and then we've got this 27 which we're going to have to allocate to these owners in some way in accordance with their profit sharing. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.